Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another episode of Mini Monday. Today we're going to talk about the easiest way for you to manage all those applications you have installed across Linux, Mac and Windows. Let's go. So I'm going to start off with Windows. So we'll use Chocolatey, which is the name of the tool. We'll use that to install and manage packages and it's very, very easy to install. So if you go to chocolatey.org, you can see this is the package manager for Windows. We're going to click into the Community Edition. The difference between the other version and Community Edition is Chocolatey doesn't provide support for the Community Edition. So everything you install is really is unsupported by them, but it's perfect for us. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to install Chocolatey. Very, very easy to do. Just click on Install Chocolatey. It's going to open up the install page a few move down and we're going to leave it on individual if you were going to push this out to multiple different machines on a network then you could use any of these other automation tools but individual is perfect for us the first step to install is we need to open up powershell as admin so let me do that first powershell right click and go run as admin and make that smaller and move it over here Okay, so the next step is you need to run this command. So it says run get execution policy. If it returns restricted, then we do need to run another command. So let's copy that. I'm gonna paste it in there. Okay, so it is showing restricted. Let's go back up here and run this command here. Copy that. I'm gonna type in A for all. And then that is done. So I'm gonna head up twice and just check that get execution policy again. And you can see it says all signed. So we're good to go. We're good to go and run through the install process. So if we move down now, it says now run the following command. I'm just gonna copy that. Go back into PowerShell. I'm gonna just paste that in. I'm gonna hit enter and let it go and install Chocolatey. Perfect, that is done. That is how fast it is to install this product. Once that's done, all you have to do is go back into PowerShell. I'm just gonna type in Choco and hit enter and that's going to tell me whether this is installed it's going to give me the version number that's installed i can see that it's using version 2.3.0 now let's go and find a package this is how you will install an application so if you go back up to the very top i'm just going to click back at the home page i'm going to go into community again and i'm going to click on find packages from here you can see there is a bunch of different packages that you can actually browse down and you can find I'm gonna go up to the top and I'm just gonna search for one that I want. Say I wanna type in VLC. Let's click on VLC at the top and this is gonna give us the instructions to install this application. Literally just have to copy this, go back to here and I'm just gonna paste that in and hit enter and that will go and install it for me. Yes, I'm gonna hit A, let that install all. Cool, that is it done. So let's go and check that it is actually installed. So you can see here now, that has been very, very quickly installed, which is perfect. As you can imagine, this is such an easy tool, especially if you're working in security or DevOps or something, and you've got all those like packages, you've got Terraform or like AWS CLI or all those different tools that you always have to manage and update. This just makes your life so much easier. If you wanna check a list of all of the applications that you've installed using Chaco, it's very, very easy. Just type in, Type in Chaco and type in list. That's gonna bring you a list of the things that you've installed. So as you can see, I've installed VLC and Chocolatey itself. If you wanna get a list of the other commands you can use in Chaco, just type in Chaco space question mark. So it gives you a list of all of the different commands that you can use as Chaco. So that's an easy way for you to keep your applications updated on Windows. It's kind of, it's what I use across all my machines. It just makes my life so much easier. In Mac OS X and Linux, you would use a tool called Homebrew. This is perfect for, again, updating all your applications. It does the same thing as what Chaco does on Windows. It's very, very easy to install as well. Just go to brew.sh and it will bring you to this website. Now it is really, really simple to install. It's literally one command. So I'm just gonna copy this. You need to open up iTerm. Once you've done that, just paste the command in there and that is going to go and run through and do the install of homebrew it is going to ask you for your password just type your password in and hit enter and you can see it will run down through the install now i've already installed homebrew on this machine now the good thing is once i run that command again that will actually go and update the version that i have installed on my machine so again homebrew very very easy to use you can type in brew list same as chocolate list 
This will give you a list of all of the applications that you've installed on this computer. If I wanted to install, say, a particular application, if you come back to the Homebrew website, click up at the top, type in the name of an application. I'll just use VLC, that was the example we used before. And you can see the command here at the top. So literally just copy this, go back into iTerm. Once you're here, just right click, paste that command, and hit enter and that will go and download and install that application on your computer. I already have VLC installed on this Mac so that's actually going to go and upgrade the existing version of VLC. Anyway that is two really really handy tools that's going to really save you a bunch of time whenever you're looking to install applications across Windows, Mac OS X and Linux. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed episode 2 of Mini Mondays, I hope this was helpful. If you like the video, you like the content, please subscribe below. That's it for now and I will see you in next week's Mini Monday.